All right, uh, guitar players have an opportunity that most other instruments don't have, and that is the ability to bend the strings. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a great tool for expressive soloing, for writing riffs. Um, it's a great tool for being more like a voice and also just you know doing something that you know the piano player in the band can't do so we want to really spend a lot of time being conscious and intentional with our bending um, i find too many players who are maybe improvising or or even in the writing process do these kind of half bends these sort of um you know, bends without concentrating on what note they're going to, and it just leads the song to sound out of tune. If I were playing an E minor, and I was doing maybe like uh, out of some boxes, let's say I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I play on this E up here, and I want to bend this note, which is great. If I do a nice bend, it sounds pretty good, but if I do like a half bend or don't really pay attention, I, I hear too too often guys will do something like that, or the maybe maybe we don't want to hit the uh, the C sharp in the key of E because we've got a C chord. So I've got uh, an exercise I want to show you guys um, to really kind of focus on and concentrate on your bending. So let's uh, let's go to yeah like the B string. 12th fret B string and if I'm on the uh, B string and I'm on the 12th fret I'm hitting the note B and if I go up one fret I'm hitting C and if I go up another fret I'm hitting C sharp so let's just look at those notes B C and C sharp now when we do bends whenever we can we want to bend with all three fingers third finger middle finger and pointer finger one in each fret Right, we put a little vibrato if necessary. We'll talk. We can talk about that later. Um, but that's kind of our standard bend: thumb around the top, pushing string into the, you know, fretting the note. So pushing your finger into the wood, and then up. Right. But we're gonna bend in tune. So here's the little here's the little exercise. You take your fingers, all three of them. And we're pressing down. and We're playing the note B. Then we're gonna shift up and play the note C. Then we're gonna come back and play the note B. And then we're going to bend up to the C. Make sure you get there, right? You should be able to, if someone had their eyes closed, not be able to tell which one you're hitting. So B, C, B, C. Now you can bend up to it which is the easiest way to do it, but if you try to just sort of memorize muscle memory where the spot is, hopefully you can get it. If you come up a little short, like this, so you can hear it's out of tune. It's a little too, out, too far, so I went a little out of tune. Now, after you get feel comfortable with that, you can practice going to the C sharp. So B here to the C sharp. So I jumped up a, a full step. So that's the that's the idea. The faster you can go, the better. That wasn't great. Maybe even try, once you get really good at that, going a uh, three-step bend up to the D.
So if you kind of practice that and do that, um, make sure you're plugged into an amp if you're on an acoustic. Um, you can do this on electric, but it's going to really take some strength. But make sure you're plugged into an amp so you can really hear what you're doing. Um, can't stress to enough uh, that you, you put some headphones on or crank the amp up so you can really hear that you're in tune. Because I could sit here and do and be out of tune, and it's not going to do me any good. Uh, we want to make sure that we are in tune. You can even, if you have a pedal tuner, you can even check your tuning and see how close you can really get. You know, watch that tuner and see if it's, you know, it's, it's going to say B. And then see how, what, where you're going to be in tune to hit a C. Alright guys, see you next time.